Hello, welcome to GP.NET Tutorials. My name is Bahrudin and this is a lesson 3 of GP.NET Tutorial. In this lesson we are going to talk about GP.NET, how GP.NET process the data before modeling. In order to successfully create predictive model, the data set must be prepared properly. In this lesson we are going to talk about what is data pre-processing, what type of data GP.NET supports and GP.NET's import tool as well as data preparation before model creation. Data preparation is very important and it is crucial step in modeling. Without proper data preparation we cannot expect a good model. The data preparation can be divided into several steps. Loading data into GP.NET this means which data format is supported and how data can be imported into GP.NET. <coughs> data preprocessing, prepar preparing the data in order to get proper data sets with exact columns and rows. This mostly includes column types definition, for example in case the column is categorical, the user has to define categorical representation of the data, etc. Feature engineering represents set of machine learning actions in order to prepare and optimize data prior to modeling. In order to successfully prepare data, the user must provide the following steps. Provide data form of textual, comma separated or any textual data. Load data, define delimiters, floating formats, header, etc. Defining input parameters, defining column types, defining missive values, defining scaling of data, etc. In this lesson we are provide an example how to load a data set named concrete slump data test. So let's go to this data set and download the data set. Now once we reach the, the website we go to data folder and press slump test dot data. This is a content of the file which we can we can save it at the desktop once we get the data we can open the gp.net create a new project and click on the project name and rename the project name into Concrete slump test. Hit enter. Now that we have a project created, we can load the downloaded data by pressing the load data button. Once we press the load data button, the import experimental data dialog appear. With this dialog, we can uh, filter the data and successfully load into gp.net. The first step is that we find the date we down download the data on the PC. We remember that we save the data on the desktop but with the data extensions so we should uh, select all file data type here are our file, select the file, open it and now the content of the file is presenting in this edit box. So as we can see the column delimiter is comma so we should we should check comma as column separate. Once we check the comma as you can see the all columns are properly processed so between all columns there must be a vertical line so now we have one two three four five etc columns and also as we can see there is a number column which enumerate the rows so also so also the rows are properly formatted um, now we also see that the first row is header of the 
of the data set which uh, shows the column names so we should check the first row header in order to separate the columns column names and the data now we finished with the data filtering and now we are ready to press import data by pressing import data the data is loaded into the gp.net now we will maximize the window so we now we see all columns loaded into the gp.net now the next step is to process all data which means defining the column types uh, parameter types um, scaling missing value stuff like that so first we should uh, uh, omit the first column from the modeling because the first column is just row index so go to the column type double click on numeric actually the numeric is the default value for all columns so change numeric into string and now once we define the column type as string this means that this column will not be included into gp modeling the next column is cement actually is numeric as we can see there is no missing value so we should uh, missing value setup to ignore um, scaling we should perform min, min max scaling the parameter type is input and um, category encoding is known because this is not a category column now the next column is slack also we should um, ignore the missing value because there is no missing values data scaling is min max input parameter etc um, this is the same for all columns actually actually the slump column is our output column and the, the two columns after slump will be ignored so for flow and compressive strength we should set a string column type this means that the, the last two columns will not be included as well um, slump column should be uh, of numeric type with uh, non encoding and with the parameter type output so we should double click on the input and select output item from the combo box now the process of defining all columns is finished now it's left that we define the test data set since we have uh, around uh, 103 column uh, rows we should define something like 50 columns with 50 rows for testing and also we can um, during the model creation we can uh, randomize the data set in order uh, for better performance but for this model we should we should on we should skip that so now it's it's time that we define the, our first model our first model is created by pressing the new model button now we have a first model click on the model once again and now we can write for example gp01 model and say gp model of concrete slump hit enter we are ready for uh, setting parameters for the model but this will be included in the next lesson